So I'm an atheist, which apparently means I do believe in God. Let's do this. Okay, so this is not going to be the first time you've heard these arguments. We've all been told that we really do believe in God. We just hate God. Or something like that. I mean, as atheists surrounded by believers in the rest of the world, we've all been told various things about our position that, let's face it, aren't true. And it's worth addressing every now and then. So here we go. When I made the video, I used to be an atheist. I received many indignant responses. Atheists were incensed by the suggestion that they could be haters of God. Actually, I kind of do hate God. I mean, okay, granted, I hate God the same way I hate Darth Vader. Both are fictional, but both are villains. They valiantly maintained that they did not believe in God and therefore they could not be haters of God. Well, it sounds to me like what they were trying to do was to head off the argument that they're atheists because they hate God. But that's not why any of us are atheists. I mean, okay, maybe there's some out there, but the vast majority of atheists I've encountered don't believe in God because God can't be proved to be real. They may hate God, but that's immaterial to the belief factor. Those are separate issues. The Bible makes it amply clear that there are two sets of people in this world. One set of people acknowledge God and worship Him. Another set of people do not acknowledge God and do not worship Him. Well, what I'm trying to figure out is why you needed the Bible to tell you that. I mean, wouldn't it be obvious that there are people out there who do and don't believe in God? Who think God is and isn't real? problem is, you're trying to use the Bible as proof of that. But the fact is, the Bible is proof of nothing other than the fact that people wrote a book. The Bible is not proof. The Bible is the claim that needs to be proved. They may have arguments that indicate the non-existence of God. But their insistence on the non-existence of God stems from an inward antagonism towards God. You know what, pal? It sounds to me like you're trying to convince yourself of that. Because it is such a threat to your worldview that other people might be able to genuinely not believe in your God, that you have to make up this story that we actually hate your God but really do believe. But the fact is that your God is not supported by the evidence. And the fact is that there are gods out there that have been described, the Norse gods, the Egyptian gods, even gods in fiction, that have made me go, ooh, that's kind of neat. I'd love to live under a god like that. But you know what? I still don't believe in them, even though I like those gods, because the evidence isn't there. That's what it comes down to. There's no evidence for your God, and that's why I don't believe. Now, you can try to convince yourself it's antagonism all you like, but that's a lie. But one can be certain of this, that it is a dislike of God. It is a disposition against God that favors the existence of an atheist. So in your world, there's just no room for the notion that someone genuinely doesn't think your God exists. That someone looks at the evidence and goes, I don't see any reason to believe. That can't happen in your world? Really? So let me say this again. Every atheist is essentially someone who dislikes God. You hear that, gang? Every last one of us is a God-hater. All of us. There has never been anyone who genuinely disbelieved in God. All of us are just God-haters. That's all there is to it. Right. That doesn't sound like a prejudice or a stereotype or bigotry at all. No. He may not want to acknowledge it. Because if he acknowledges it, it will look as though he believes in God. 
Yeah, well, take it from this atheist. The God described in this book is an asshole. Doesn't mean I believe in the fucker. I just mean that the God I read in this particular work of fiction is a dick. It is impossible not to believe in God. You just keep telling yourself that, pal. And this is what the Bible says. There are ample proofs for his existence. If one were to look up at the sky, that's what the Bible says. One sees the work of God. You know, when I look up at the sky, I mostly see clouds, because I live in Seattle. But occasionally there's a spot of blue and a great big fireball up there. There's usually no words unless there's a sky writer. Just saying. If a man cannot see that, he pretends not to see that, really. It is not that he cannot see that. It's impossible to not see that? Really? I'll tell you what. Prove it. Seriously, prove it. I mean, you can assert this all you like, but that doesn't make it true. And as I say, it sounds to me like you're trying to convince yourself. So prove that what you say has any validity whatsoever. Because I genuinely don't see it up there. And if your only defense of your position is that when I say that, I'm lying, I'm sorry, but you have no case. No case whatsoever. Therefore, an atheist is not genuinely a disbeliever in God. He is essentially someone who dislikes or even hates God. Well, I'm sorry you think that, pal, but it's not the case. You see, I don't let my feelings, positive or negative, affect my assessment of whether or not something is real or true. If your God just showed up and said, here I am, check me out, I'd probably still hate the fucker for the stuff he's alleged to have done. And that would have no bearing on whether or not I thought he was real. None. So until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please, think. So, who wants cake? Ah-ah-ah, uh -uh -uh. you have to rate first.